What's up guys, we're here, welcome back to the channel. So we are just hours away from the Diablo 4 Season 4 launch and we're gonna be live here on YouTube in about an hour and a half, one hour prior to launch. So make sure to join me here guys. But today I wanted to bring you my Sork Firewall slash Hydra leveling build and just kind of go over it for all you fellow Sork mains. So the idea with uh, Firewall is it's just that you're playing Firewall you're gonna come in, you're gonna burn everything alive, and it's just gonna be really fun to play. This is probably the best one to do along with Hydras. So if we throw Hydras in here, right, you're gonna have Hydras popping off. They're the ones that are gonna be doing all the damage to the bosses, which is super, super good. So uh, I over here on Mobilytics, I do have the build guide, and I'm gonna leave a link to this down in the description below for you. So uh, make sure when you guys come over here too, real quick, is that you do click on the leveling path here because it has all this stuff so i do have the leveling path of how i would take the skills now some of these you can you know mix and match like if you didn't want to take the enhanced frost novas and you just want to go get hydra immediately you know what i mean things like that but this is pretty much the exact way i would do it um until you get to the end game and you're ready to switch over to your end build but the question is is like why did i take firewall Firewall is just a one. It's a very, very tanky build. It's a very, very strong build. You can move relatively fast. So what you do is when you're going through these dungeons or you're just out in the hell tide, you're going to be able to let me grab multiple. You're basically going to like run up to a mob, drop a firewall and you can just bounce away. Right. And you just keep rolling. You know what I mean? You just keep moving because they're they're eventually going to die. Right, like the build is just, the build is super, super fun, okay? So we have Firewall with with uh, Fireball as well as uh, Firewall in our enchantment slots to do a lot of damage. So with the skill tree, essentially we're gonna start off with Arc Lash, which is gonna be super powerful. This is probably one of our best basic skills to use in the beginning for Sorks. You are gonna take the third slot for Glinting to reduce cooldowns, or if you really wanted to, I would take Flickering. If I'm being honest, just to increase your move speed, uh, just to help you get around, it'll be really, really good. We're taking Fireball for not only the initial like kaboom damage that we're gonna be doing, because um, the issue with this is while we're leveling up is not until we're like level nine or 10, we won't have access to Firewall itself, so we gotta get there first, right? So we're gonna do Arc Lash with Fireball, um, and then we're doing Teleport uh, Ice Armor for defenses and Mana Regen, we got Teleport for uh even more like defenses in the end uh, essentially what you're going to do is you're going to end up dropping firewall um or, or firewall uh hydras you'll end up getting rid of hydras and you'll just end up putting points into other skills but we're going to use fireball until then um and then of course we got glass cannon for more damage we're going to be taking elemental attunement to reset a defensive skill which is great um towards the end of the tree we're taking devastation with elemental dominance to do more damage Okay, Hydra's of course into Summon Hydra, which is just gonna help us burn everything. Now, right now I have it at one because eventually you're gonna take this away, but you do have points in there that you can do. Then we got Align the Elements for damage reduction as well as Mana Shield for protection and protection. We actually, um, or as a shield and then Mana Shield for damage reduction, which is super good. Then we're taking all our points in Inner Flames for increased damage while we're healthy, which should be all the time. And then we're maxing out Devouring Blaze. Now, this did get a big change, guys, from last season where it required the additional bonus for the enemies to be mobilized. But now it's as they're crowd controlled. We're always going to be able to crowd control them. Uh, this is going to be super easy to do. We can slow them down. We can stun them, etc. However, if you don't want to do Devouring Blaze, that's fine. You can get rid of it. Uh, but we're always going to be able to do this, which is really, really good. Um, however, like we could... I mean, you could take it away, right? Like, you could get rid of it and not do it if you feel like you're not really crowd controlling. But, uh, yeah, Devouring Blaze is just too good, man. It's hard to really replace this. Um, we get the crowd control from Inferno as well as Frost Nova, which is just super strong against elites and bosses. Of course, Firewall into Mages. They just continue burning, which is super strong. Then, because of Frost Nova, we got Horror Frost here just to do 18% 18 increase, 18 increased damage against Frozen enemies which makes it super strong. We got Inferno just to pull and make uh, our Pyromancy skills cost no mana. So that we just throw this on a big mob or a boss. You just spam Firewall and just do your thing. One point into Warmth for healing. 
we max out soul fire because pyromancy skills cost 12 percent less mana and do deal six percent increased damage you double these bonuses if you sit still for two seconds you can really get these triggers you're really going to get these against like a boss or something otherwise you're pretty much going to be moving but i mean 24 percent less damage and 12 percent increased damage is pretty good um fire resurge of course after killing a burning enemy to help a mana regen this is going to be really good for you while you're leveling up you really need to have this one i would uh put the three points into this before you go into anything else um just for mana regen because one of the Sork's biggest problems going through the leveling process is just mana, right? If you get Prodigies early, then Prodigies is going to be really good for you. Otherwise, like, it, you kind of struggle. That's why we, <clears throat> in this guide, we're keeping Arclash on the assigned skills for now. That's why you don't see um, your ultimate here. But once you have Prodigies, then you just swap out Arclash and you put, um, you put the, uh, you put, uh, what is it, um, Inferno on there. Then, of course, we're doing Combustion. Okay, this is just going to do even more damage for us. So that is the initial leveling build, guys. This is what I'm going to be playing today, and we're going to be going through the uh, the Hell Tides until we get to the end game. Then I'm swapping over to Frozen Orb or Meteors. So uh, for our enchant enchantments, guys, when you get to level 15, the first one you're going to take is Fireball. Um, we're taking Fireball first because we want to explode everything. This is really going to help you clear out AoE. Right, big AOE damage is going to help you clear out mobs and just get through things a lot faster. Okay, uh, as soon as you hit 30, you're taking firewall. Okay, on a lucky hit chance, you just spawn more firewalls. This just makes it even better because the thing is with firewall is that it's a dot build, so each tick of damage that you're doing has the potential to hit the lucky hit chance, which will spawn uh, two more firewalls and then rinse and repeat. Right, so uh, we're rocking these two pretty much all the way to the end game. Um, now, as far as gear, one of the big reasons why Firewall is just really, really good for leveling for the Sork is because it doesn't require a particular legendary power. Like, for example, if you're going to do Ice Shards, which is a very good leveling build for Sork, well, you need the Ice Shards power, right? Like, you need the you need the Ice Shards um, weapon. You need Piercing Cold, right? Because Ice Shards pierces... And even though the, the piercing ones deal less damage, but it just allows you to clear out more mobs easier with the uh, the item, right? Otherwise, you're not piercing. You got to do single target one by one, right? So Firewall doesn't require any powers. However, these are the main ones that I would pick up first if you guys can get them, all right? The first main one that we need is Prodigies. It is in the Codex, which is fantastic. Even if you get this at the smallest one, which is 15, Having this on your character is going to make your leveling process so easy. You go get Prodigies, you slap it on a ring, you don't change the ring. Every single time you use a cooldown, which is every ability that you have besides Firewall, you're just going to be replenishing all that mana, right? It's just suit. you have to have Prodigies, and we're going to use this pretty much all the way to the end game. The other ones are just, you know, kind of, I just threw them on there because I think they're really easy to get, and they're really just strong, like, powers to have, right? We got Disobedience, which is going to give you some more armor. The reason we picked this one is because it's in the Codex, as opposed to uh, Juggernaut, which isn't. So uh, everything will be in the Codex, but um, Disobedience just, is just easier, right? You're always going to be doing damage from the, the stack, so you always have it. But Juggernaut is also very good. Uh, then we got Storm Swell, right? Storm Swell does increase damage while we have a barrier. We always have a barrier to vulnerable enemies. Super strong. Control, huge. You deal increased damage to immobilize stun of frozen enemies. We're always going to be able to freeze. We should be able to stun if we if we swap over the lightning uh, spear towards the end game. Like once we get, you know, to 50 and we're going into world tier three, we can end up adding lightning spear on there. Uh, but these are just initial powers that I would throw on, guys. The biggest one is really prodigies. Otherwise, you can put on whatever you want. It doesn't really matter, um, at least in the leveling process, because you're going to be so tanky and strong. It's not going to matter. On our weapons, we got... Amethyst, damage over time, right? Because we're a dot build. Then we got rubies for more life, and then skulls for more armor. So uh, this is the leveling build, guys. Um, this is what I'm going to be playing for Season 4. That's going to start here in a few hours. The link to this will be down in the description below, guys. Make sure to come join us over here on YouTube live, or if you guys prefer to view over on Twitch, twitch.tv backslash warlug. But yeah, Firewall is is the build of choice uh, for leveling for me with Hydras. Hydras are super strong, and you're just going to burn everything to death, man. It's just going to be so good 
and so refreshing. Yeah. Visually, the build is amazing. So let's get this video over to 50 likes, guys, or higher. Let's get some records breaking. Don't forget to subscribe, guys. Comment down below. Let me know what uh, like build that you're going to be starting with your Sork or your character that you're playing in Season 4. And as always, stay gaming, and I'll see you guys out here in Sanctuary. 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 Shank, shank, shank. Sanctuary. See you guys later.